Oof. Who do we have? We have Heine Bush. First chatter. I need Teha. I need Heine Bush. Frostfire. Hello. So, what is everyone putting into their Janes? I will most likely be putting in Vintage Blacks and some form of Alps for mine. I don't know. I'm, I have a feeling my Jane will be a permanent Alps build. We'll see. Ham. Time. Hello. Hello. Finally, Tommy Crayons, hello, ham time, oh, Zonda, oof, hello. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes as people roll in. So, yeah. How's everyone's Saturday going? I go. Is the audio okay? Is it clipping at all? The music too loud? Audio is nice. Okay, that's good. You're putting Holy Jesus. Oof. That's gonna be a nice tactile build. <clears throat> Can you guys hear the background music? Oh, shoot. Hmm, it says I have zero viewers. GG. Nick Heller. Oof. Generic Straff, hello. Regret. CF Haswell, hello. Power of Yog. Yeah, as usual, we're gonna give it. I'm I'm hoping we could start at 440. 445? No, 440. Let's let's start at 440 depending on how much how many people roll in. Cause I'm sure people are gonna ask for me to show the board midway as they join late so i want to do that as little as possible so i will wait until people come in stream bonanza this weekend yeah blinny caddy thank you so much for the host ch v s e k chiv sec can't even load on bad japan wi-fi in a hotel feels bad you're lubing some V2 Zelios for your Unigo. Nice. Zonda, show the board. Sir Fitzwilliam, hello. Carlos Q. Man Jr., hello. I recognize that name. Sir. Uh, Future Crime, hello. I don't know if I should watch this. Kind of want to just unbox mine all fresh. Oof. Huh, I didn't think about that. Are people in the Jane group by not gonna watch mine because it's going to ruin their unboxing experience for them? Chubies, hello, hello. UK crew, this isn't the same as group by Jane V2. That is true, Future. This is not exactly the same Jane as the production Jane. This is a special Jane. Or maybe it's not even a Jane. St. Emerald, hello. Just Carlos, don't say it all, it makes me uncomfortable. Carlos Q Man Jr. I'm just kidding, I'll call you Carlos. Carlos then. That's easier on me too. <laughs> not the same as Group by. Yes, this is slightly different. It's not too far off, but this is I would consider this a prototype Jane. But it is except for a few minor differences, it is, it is pretty much the same. So this is what you can expect, I believe. Uh, laser beam spring. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. Tonka Tonk. Hello, Tommy Crayons. What makes a special? You will see, Tommy Crayons. You will see. Zondat starting out strong. Yeah. Or did you mean my stream starting out strong? Mastermind Jane Hypo. Faint Oblotsky, hello. Faint too. 
Yeah, this is actually... What was this sent to me by... Taihao? Can you have... You, it is not a tofu. It's not a tofu. Oh, the bits. Yeah, we are starting off strong. 500 bits. We are over the halfway point for the fundraiser. Big box. It is a big box. I should move my keyboard away. Four forty. I'll unbox it. But look, it has a personalized name, handwritten from Mr. Sam Yuxi himself. Is this it? Zambumon, ooh, you made it. I thought you weren't gonna make it. Holy pandas aren't great, hello. God, I love getting big boxes with keyboards in them. Rope, hello, hello. Wilba, thank you so much for the follow. Dire Devil, hello. I'll give you my big box. I would like a big Zondat box. Still waiting for that Zondat. Is this the first time Wilba's been on my stream? <laughs> what time is it over there in Australia? Zondat's box is big. Juan and Amelie, hello! I need to note down what you said, NK, about the things. What? What does that mean? Sage Vibe. Hello. Woba, 11.36 AM. Oh, okay, so that's... I'm guessing this is a pretty good time. Compromise for all the international folks. Teal Tracks, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, Zonda, I don't know what you meant by your statement. <laughs> I need to go and see when I can ship yours because of the plates. Oh, right, yeah. I would rather wait for the plates. I want to try that 5 mil polycarb. Future crime is 1 a.m. Oof, sorry. Hey, but tomorrow is Sunday, so it's not too bad, is it? Or I guess it'll be Monday soon for you guys? No, it'll be Sunday, I think, right? This is a VD good time for me, NK. It's almost 2 a.m., Rope says. Ooh, sorry. In before T60, the first one. I, I wouldn't mind having a T60 as well. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> Everyone put your guesses for what you think the color is. What color Jane do you think it is, guys? Blurple. <laughs> Lark Carps, hello. Dark gray. Black. Probably not blue gray. I'm out right now, but I'll be back later. Okay. Bragenta. Cyan pink. Red. Cyan blue. Cyan clear. Have a good stream, kids. Illy. Gray, gray, brown, gray. It's hot pink. Was brown even offered in the group? I <laughs> Remski, why am I even commenting? You're on the wrong account, Remski. Go on to your true account. Shenanigans, hello. First time catching stream live. That's a username I don't reckon. No, you did chat in my Discord today. But yeah, glad to have you. First stream. Freud Royce, hello, hello. Oh, what is that color? Ham, Keno Ham Kenobi, you always seem. You were purple yesterday too. But hello, glad you can make it. <laughs> Hentai butts, please lick the mic. This. This mic is not for licking. <laughs> it's too much money to just lick. Chris is always upset. Hello. Purple is your favorite color. Purple on Streamlabs, the chat is very hard to read. <laughs> I'm guessing for normal chat, it's fine, but 
QBs, is it a new mic? Yes, I did get a new mic. It's on my webcam here. Uh, I, I can't get it to show on my cook camera. But yes, I did get a new mic. So hopefully the audio accuracy representation is a lot better this year as well as the quality. Tony95011. Rope, is it a TLM 103? Yes, it is. It is the TLM 103. Uh, I have it linked in my Amazon, uh, my gears list. But yes, I did get a TLM 103. Uh, if you guys saw my previous or my post earlier today on Mech Market, I also have a new interface back here. I picked up the RME Babyface Pro. And I am also using this for streams now, so hopefully it is better than last year's. <laughs> Snell Trail, is that some new audio equipment? Yes, it is. Okay, 445, I will start unboxing. I think we have a decent amount of viewers now, so that is when I will start unboxing. Ham time? No, my mic stand is fine. I don't know what that noise was, but I think it's probably the spring. Yeah, I also have a boom arm now. So hopefully it picks up less of the bass when I move it around. Because I previously used to use a mic stand and that did not isolate the mic at all. Babyface, very good song. Joe Cool Bob, oof, you're in the stream. Uh, what happened to the Apollo Twin? What happened was my sister took it. <laughs> my sister took it so I can no longer use it. So that is why I have picked up my own interface. Um, it seemed kind of pointless to pick up a second Apollo Twin, so I thought I would get a different one. Um, I actually think I like this better. So I liked the way the Apollo looks aesthetically on your desk, but I mean that doesn't that shouldn't matter as much as the quality of the interface in the grand scheme of things. But the one thing I didn't like about my Apollo Twin was that it is the Thunderbolt edition. So I could only use it with my Mac book. I use a PC for at home on my desktop, so I can't use it. But the RME Babyface, it is OS agnostic. It works on any OS, so which I like better. So I can now use my high-end audio equipment for my streams. Any good Alice clones? Either that or just an Alice. Rock 3T11, hello. The power of Yaw. Uh, I'm not too much of an audiophile. I want to get into audio, but it's just too much of a expensive hobby on top of keyboards. So I'm just currently using my, I used to use my Apollo as my DAC as well. Now I use just, now I just use this army baby face for uh, listening purposes too. Two minutes, two minutes. Let's unbox this. Hey, <laughs> Toja, hello. Uh, Hatu Nike, you can only watch my stream in 1080p because I am not a partner, so I don't get prioritized for streaming quality, and as such, you can't choose the. Uh, you can't downgrade the resolution. Unfortunately, you are just stuck with whatever I am streaming at. Um, it's a Twitch issue as well as. An issue of me not being prioritized by Twitch because I am not a partner. <laughs> Hopefully I can achieve partner this year, we'll see. But yeah. You are not alone. Hentai butts, do you build keyboards as a full-time job? No, I do not. This is all on the side. I do have a separate full-time job. I do this all on the side. Alec F2, hello, glad you can make it to the stream. 
You went to a mini meetup today, 100 million people liked your lubing. Oh, sweet. I did not know there was a mini meetup. Soul Rand 2022. No, not really, Nathan. It is random. What is random? Don't feel bad. I prioritize you, Nathan, Chibi says. I'll prioritize Nathan. Ham do you have to achieve partner every year? I don't think you have to achieve partner every year. It's a one-time thing you have to do. It's just getting that one-time thing is a bit difficult. But once you achieve it, I don't you don't have to maintain it as long as you generate I think I think the minimum requirement is like you have to generate a hundred dollars a year to maintain your partner status as well as stream within like a six month period at least. So I think that's fine. Soran, uh, no, that is for affiliate. The three viewers, that is an aff a requirement to get an affiliate, which I am. Affiliates still don't get prioritized. You have to be a partner, I believe. Um, so if there, but it's also an RNG thing. Sometimes there will be the option for you to down re res my stream. Um, it's just if Twitch happens to be being overloaded, he won't prioritize you. 45, open the box. Let's go. Let's do this, guys. You're one minute late, sorry. Oh, this is a big box. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, just want to start off by saying this is not my board. <laughs> this is not my board. I am building it for someone else. Thank you to Yuxi for sending the Jane early to me so I could unveil it for you guys for the first time on the stream. You ready? Ha <laughs> A foam inside a foam. Ooh. Is this the Jane? Do we have a Jane on hand? Ooh. Do we have a stream? What am I? My black phone. Who guessed pink? But see, from this, you guys can't tell if it's a V1 or a V2 Jane. Keep it and flip it, NK. You order the same combo for unicorn. Nice, one in a moment. A pink unicorn would look nice. Oh, da 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 da. Uh, so the lighting is pretty harsh on my stream setup. That's a pretty accurate representation of pink, I think. So, what is special about this? You want me to drop it? <laughs> drop test? Higher? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, what is special about this Jane is that it has the original grill bottom that the community decided to reject in favor of the triple weight so that's what makes this chain special it has the original grill bottom look at that and then the back angle oof look at that you can see my face
That is the Jane back right there. Let me get some close-ups. So we have the classic TGR engraving on there. I believe we have an aluminum black plate. Oof, nice TGR logo. I believe the Alice also had the TGR logo engraved next to the caps lock. So clearly a full plate, this is not the half plate option. I forgot if half plate was offered in Alu, but yeah, the side profile of the chain. Uh, you can definitely feel the seam, but it's a nice seam. Like feel-wise, it does not. Yeah. Like I mean, you can feel the seam, but it's not. It's not glaring at you. It is machined extremely well, in my opinion. Um, in person, there is hardly a color mismatch. I would say. I would say they're like at least the color between the top halves are at least like a 90, I would say 97% match. If, I mean, I can't say for certain it's 100%, but I would not, I would, it is matched in person. Maybe the bottom is slightly darker depending on the lighting. This is the grill bottom. I honestly like this grill bottom. Maybe more than the triple weight. But, but the triple weight is nice too. So whoever this Jane owner is, they... I don't, I'm not sure if this is a one of a kind. I'm not sure how many prototypes Yuxi made with this bottom, but this is an ultra rare Jane. So we will probably take apart this plate to see how that looks, the Toblerone weight, but it has the Jane engraved in there. And look at this USB port, that is pretty tight as well, little focus. Oof. Okay, should I take off the weight first to see what it looks like? Should we do that? Oh shoot, Cruiser the Bruiser is back, guys. Cruiser the Bruiser is watching my stream. Holy moly, I did not recognize you in stream yesterday. I am so sorry. But who recognizes Cruiser the Bruiser? That's what Nathan sounds like when he's fangirling. <laughs> he a Fortnite gamer. <laughs> Mr. Lee Sin. Yeah, I, I quit League Season 6. But some of my friends are telling me to come back on. Supposedly, League has become brain dead again. Uh, I'm guessing the tank meta is over, but... I don't know. I don't I just don't have time for the league anymore. It's a fun game. I miss I miss playing with friends. Okay, I'm gonna hopefully this weight just comes oh, okay. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so the weight sits on something like this. Pretty standard. Huh, what are these screws for? Are these for the Toblerone weight? Let's take a look at this weight first. So obviously, for those of you guys in the drain group by, it's gonna look different. 
Not sure how the triple weight is going to work. I'm guessing there's going to be... I forget what the picture looked like. I'm guessing you're going to screw it from behind. So the screws aren't visible this way. Because I don't remember seeing four screws here as well. Probably four screws here. Screw it this way. So you have that weight inside. A oh, weight. But look at this scroll bottom and this finishing coating on the brass. It is nice. It's probably it's the same finish from the Alice weight. Very smooth finish. It's nice. It is nice. Okay, I'm gonna take apart these. Because this is obviously for the case, but I don't know what these four screws are for. Hey Nathan, I was wondering what your favorite Fortnite dance is. If you could respond with my favorite Fortnite dance is, and then say your favorite Fortnite dance, that would be an epic victory royale. <laughs> Up in Fortnite style MK. <laughs> Holy pandas aren't great, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, my favorite Fortnite dance? I, I honestly don't know all of them. I don't play Fortnite. I'm guessing the Floss is one of them. So I guess the Floss. Cruiser the Bruiser, you are not just another viewer. You are a special VIP viewer. <laughs> Is this how the... Oh, it is! Oh, look at that. Okay, so the Toblerone weight. I was right, it's for the Toblerone weight. Hmm, so, okay, so the inside, obviously, as you can tell, is not coated or treated from what it looks like. It just looks kind of raw. The outside is obviously mirror polished. The inside is not at all. This looks raw to me. Uh, Juan and Amelie, is that heavy? By heavy, do you mean this Toblerone weight or the board? Zombomon, you gotta go. Have a good night. Uh, looks stainless. Oh, sorry, it might be stainless as well. Yeah. I forget what the material was for that. Um, Yuxi is a scammer. This is not a Toblerone. But I think the community coined it as a Toblerone weight. I don't think Yuxi called it the Toblerone weight, so... <laughs> yeah. The board, uh, this... Yeah, this is pretty heavy, 100 milli. I mean, it's not like insanely heavy, but... It's definitely got some heft to it. It is decently heavy. It, it might actually be steel. Aluminum would have probably been lighter. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. So the Toblerone weight hides the screws for the top. There are, so in order to open up the case, you need to take apart the Toblerone weight, it seems like, to access that. So good, I guess it's a good thing that I took apart the weight. But yeah, look. There is an insert here for how the Toblerone weight goes in, so that's pretty neat. Let me get a zoomed in look. So you would get the Toblerone weight, and then slides in like that. Look at that. And as for how well it lines up flush, let's see. Seems pretty flush to me, if you ask. This is a work of art, in my opinion. This is why this was <laughs> just another OTD clone. Yeah, this is a board you definitely have to be careful with because like the weight will just kind of slide off. So I guess that is a word of caution for those building 
the board. Uh, I would imagine if you take it apart and close it, reopen it a couple times, you'll start to get scratches along with the paint here, but you will never see that, so... Yeah. Not a deal breaker, just, just something that I noticed. Uh, that's, that's also true for the salamander because for the salamander the weight also hides the screws to access the case so let's take apart the board now um, it looks like the board is using all 2.0 hex screws for those interested you will not be needing the 2.5 hex bit. Um, but once again, this is a prototype prototype. So there is a possibility the production one may be different. But as far as I am aware, the only difference between this and the production model is this different bottom weight. And it is always a plus when they use, when the designer uses the same screws for the entire board because I do not like changing bits midway for a build. Real chain V2 is glued together. Yikes. Oof. Make sure you don't lose the screws. So we have the bottom piece here. Look at that. Oh, look, do you guys notice these? What do you guys think these are for? There are four little tic-tac cutouts. What are these four tic-tac cutouts for? Who can guess what that is for? Side profile. One in a milli is right so look you guys take a look at this top piece there's the male end there are four male tic tacs okay let me take out the pcb there are four male tic tacs that will copulate with the female tic tacs when you align the board, oh, and it goes right in. So it is aligned. They are not for gaskets, as Remsky says. They are for tic tac love making. Um, I know this is an idea that some people have been uh, experimenting with in their design. I did. I actually did not know that Jane was going to include this. <laughs> this is my first time opening up the board. I did take a peek at the color ahead of time. This is my first time opening it up actually. So that's, that is a nice feature. I hope more boards do this in the future because uh, I think it really does help with aligning the board, especially when you uh, have to, when you have a top and bottom piece and you need to screw it together. So yeah. <laughs> okay, let's take a bit more look at the bottom piece. Okay, so Mr. Customer, if you are looking, it'll focus there is a scratch here that was not done by me <laughs> I did not do this it came to me like this um, some kind of dirt maybe if you lick it it might come off I don't want to do it right now yeah but I mean it's all internal so you can't see it but that is the bottom piece I'm not sure oh, okay so this is for the weight 
there are three screws here which is for yeah the weight the grill okay so we will set this aside okay let's take a look at the top piece there you go you got the four male tic tacs they are some skinny boy tic tacs though not your typical tic tac size um, obviously some anno issue here I'm guessing this is where they were hung off maybe but yeah this is what the top piece looks like some anno marks here as well but yeah it's not visible if it'll focus It's all internal stuff that you won't see once you assemble the board. Let me see your male tic tac, Heine Bush says. Did you just assume my gender, Heine? What if I have a female tic tac? Yeah, I'm also going to set this weight apart, or aside, sorry. Gotta be careful with a board like the Jane. Okay, let us take apart the plate now. Panthers aren't great after gendering tic tacs you think you have the right to gender your own tic tac <laughs> I did not toss it I slid it onto my bed relief cuts are e huge yeah, let us take, let us examine this plate. Needs more per row cuts. Noob level SMH. Phew. Remsky calling Yuxi a noob. Oh man, where is Sam in chat? He said he was going to be tuning in today. Oof. So we have the black aluminum plate here. Da, 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 da. So look at look at all these massive oh whoops massive relief cuts. There's a there's one giant two giant relief cuts here. Oof. Look at this. This is the most OP relief cut right here. Right here. Um, are, are these even considered relief cuts? I'm pretty sure these are consciously made relief cuts. As for how much it'll help, not sure. I'm not a physicist nor material science person, but this is a beautiful plate. Uh, this plate, if it'll focus. There is a little mark right here that's pretty visible. Um, and then some anno scratches along the, what, what do you even call this? The area where you would screw in, there are some marks here. But it's the plate, you will never see it, so yeah. Remski, I did finally open the package, but I have not felt the switches yet. So plate, we're going to need this soon. There's the top case, top piece. Uh, nothing too interesting here, I would say. Just a classic TGR top piece, except for the addition of these Tic Tacs. Um, the plate cutout is, the standoff cutout is slightly different because of the new plate shape, but... 
Yeah, I don't think there's anything special or new about this top. For those interested in the angling of the wind key blocker, if it'll focus, that is what it looks like. Do you guys like it when the wind key blocker is also rounded here or if it's sharp? DJ Suede, hello! Winky blockers are ass, what? Uh, El Bibas. Quick question, is the plate offset from the top part? Uh, what do you mean by that? If you put the plate in the bottom... What are you saying, El Bibas? If I put this plate on the bottom, what? What do you mean offset? There's no offset, I would think. NGB, hello! Happy New Year too! Not from the from the top, not the bottom. Okay, if I put it on the top. Uh, what do you mean by offset? Oh, you mean like the space here? Yes. You can see... You can see there is space underneath, in between the plate and the wind key blocker, so there is a slight offset. There is an offset, so... The wind key is not... The wind key blocker is not touching the plate. It is doing that. I see what you're saying now, you just, you told me to put it on the bottom piece, I was like, what? Okay, let's take a look at it, this PCB. So not only does TGR have nice boards, they also have extremely nice PCBs. Look at that. Don't ESD the PCB. <laughs> Look at that. Has a nice TGR logo here as well. Ooh, what does that say? I have not noticed this before. TGR Pontoporia V1.1. What is Pontoporia? So there are. RGB, they are not installed, the SMDs, but uses USB mini and uh, yeah, it's just a really nice and uh, clean PCB overall. Okay, so that was the unboxing of the chain. Let us get to building it now. We're gonna start with the stabs. Stabs, where are the stabs? So we are going to be building this with the WinKeyless 7U layout, obviously. Are these all 7Us? 
I should label my steps. This is 70, nice. Uh, we are doing no splits. Oh yes, I should check the PCB, I forgot. You know, I just trust Yuxi that much, you know, that I don't have to check the PCB. You are correct, I should check the PCB. Have full left shift. Full backspace. As well as enter. And we need one more. Or full left shift. So we have stabs. Let us check the PCB. <laughs> no, I shouldn't check the PCB. Famous last words. I was just so excited to start the build. Okay, let's go. Let us check the PCB. So who is more hyped for the Jane after seeing this unboxing? Is there anyone with regrets? Speak up now. Uh, ADX LK, thank you so much for, oh no, 159 gifted a sub to ADX LK. Thank you so much, 159. Has this Dream hyped you guys up even more to receive your Janes. And is there anyone who regrets voting to switch to the triple weight option after seeing this grill bottom board? Uh, it's Kuroi, thank you for another gift. Wow. To Con Kanajo. Oops, wrong row. This is down. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll come back to that later, but up, left, down, right. Okay. Page down and delete. Uh Juan and Amelie, thank you so much for gifting a sub to It's Undone. Uh goo. Goo91k, what am I doing? I am testing the PCB right now to make sure that it is properly working before I solder anything onto it. Because if you solder onto a broken PCB, it will not work and you won't be able to fix it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing maybe the control key, one of them here is mapped as fn possibly 
No, it's the control shouldn't be. I mean, it is registering as win. Now this is left. So I'm guessing. As long as it triggers, it's just mapped incorrectly to something. Max F, thank you so much for the host. I am doing pretty good, Max. Thank you for the host. I hope your stream went well today. I think I think you were streaming earlier, right? I couldn't watch it because I was out, but hope you had a good stream. Come on. Pigeon SLB, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, so now we're gonna tune the stabs. First gotta, we are using GMK screw and stabs today, which I personally use whenever I can, or EPBT stabs or Zeal stabs. Um, just anything that allows you to screw it onto the PCB over clip-in. But there are certain cases where I am required to use clip-in. But other than that, I will use screw in whenever I can. You just finished up. Singa ended up beautifully. Nice. Glad to hear. Heine Bush, screw me in. <laughs> I will screw you in, Heine Bush. Uh, BKHH, what is that foam thing you have? This is some packaging foam that was sent to me with one of my keyboards. I don't know if you could purchase it off Amazon or the likes. So I unfortunately can't give you a link to it. It's just packaging foam that I happen to receive with one of my keyboards. Uh, my meme specifically. You can try bugging Krellbit for it. But we'll see. I mean, not we'll see, sorry. Highly doubt he will just send you packaging foam. <laughs> it's got lore at this point though, the foam. I mean, you could honestly use anything for this. It doesn't have to be this specific foam. Sweet resin, bro. Oh, DJ Sweet, I didn't see this. Yeah, look at my type beast. Uh, G Freeman 11898, thank you so much for the follow. And look at that red plate peeking through. Did you guys see my picture of it on Reddit today? I posted a nice picture of my gasket. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I love DJ Suede. Stop flexing it and go back to building you me. Oh gosh, not this music. This music is the worst. No, this is Christmas song. Come on. Uh, DMX Tris, thank you so much for the follow. I am sorry if I missed earlier follows. <laughs> Nick Keller, I downloaded it because Winkyless on 60 is bad. Hey, you're a hater, Nick Keller. You gotta stop hating. Uh, what is that username? Woomp30, where is your list of keyboards again? Uh, it's one of my commands for Nightbot. I believe it's inventory, you can try that. If you type in an exclamation point inventory, I think that brings up my list. If you are interested in the list of boards that I currently own. I have downsized a lot of my collection. TGR is very 2016. 
BKHH, what types of songs do I like? I like jazz and ballads. I'm a sad boy. I like sad songs, sad ballads. Uh, I like I like hip hop, R and B too, soul. Anything but screamo or like metal. Uh, where's my lube? Yes. Here's my lube. So, like we have been using all last year, I am still using 205 grade zero for my stabs. Uh, I haven't had any issues with 205 running out so far. All the boards I built last year, the stabs still feel pretty good. And I think others will agree as well. So we're gonna continue using 205 for our stabs. What did I miss? What the what Jane did I get? I got a blue gray Jane. So I was actually supposed to receive my blue gray Jane first, um, but Yuxi is trying his best to make sure the blue gray comes out as nice as possible. So mine unfortunately didn't ship out, but I see this still send me this Jane to build. But yes, I, I am in for the blue gray Jane. So, I mean, obviously if it matches that, that OTD blue Jane pick, that would be the most ideal situation. But even if it doesn't, I won't be too sad. I trust Yuxi enough that he'll choose a nice enough blue gray. So whatever blue gray Yuxi chooses, I am confident that it will be a nice one. I mean, who knows? He might even choose a better blue gray. Um, and another thing to note is that that picture is obviously a photograph. Um, so it's not perfect. It could have been the color accuracy might not be exactly the best, but it is a nice picture and a nice blue gray. Oh, Yuxi's here! Hello, you missed the unboxing. Hello, Yuxi. Max F5. I will show you it at the end. Unfortunately, you missed it. I uh, I waited 15 minutes so people could roll in. Um, don't want to take up too much time bringing the Jane back out every time. So you're going to have to stick around until the end. Uh, 159. Thank you so much for gifting Yuxi a sub. Owner metal is very good. I don't know. I'm personally not too big a fan of electric or like digitally produced sounds. Like acoustic guitar is fine for me, but once it gets electric, it's okay. I'm more of a acoustic kind of guy. Which is why I like ballads and jazz. Because ballads tend to generally have mostly acoustic instruments. <laughs> Nate's a hater. <laughs> I'm not a hater. Staggered Afro 75 is very 2019. 
I agree. I th I think we are definitely going to see more 75% uh, boards hopefully this year. It's a pr it's a really good layout. Um, and I think it looks especially nice with the staggered F row. You know, maybe we'll see a TGR 75. Hopefully. <laughs> I, I really like the 75% layout. I like the 75% layout for aesthetics. I never use the F row. But being able to use, you know, accent keys for your F row, I think makes a board look nice. Er, sometimes. That's the only reason I like 75%. Shenanigans. Am I getting a Xeno? Yes, I am getting a Xeno. I joined in within like the first week that it dropped. First couple days. Which I believe is running until February? Sometime in February. So if you guys haven't, make sure to join. Sir Fitzwilliam, next group by you're excited for is the HBCP from Heine. Oof, that is also a nice board. If you haven't seen my build stream for it, you should. It featured Mr. Heine Bush himself. But yeah, HBCP is a very cool board as well. And I'm pretty sure it will sell out fairly quickly because it is a board that a lot of people want. 159, is that the real Yuxi? Uh, yes, it is the real Yuxi. Are you a full chub now? <laughs> yeah, the, the CP isn't a layout that I think also isn't being uh, explored as much like there's only a handful of high-end CPs that come to my mind there's the TXCP, Box CP, Sabe CP uh, TKC has their own 1800 board which I haven't felt there's the LZ CP which you could probably never find and if you do is ridiculously priced uh, but yeah other than those there aren't many other, if at all, CPs that I know of that are modern custom high-end boards. So yeah, it's nice to see. I also like the CP layout, so I wish more CP layouts would be made as well. Okay, loop the housings for the stamps. Moving on to the wire now. Talking about CPs on stream. What is this music? <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm behind on chat. When am I gonna build my number one? Uh, <laughs> hopefully this month. I have the switches prepped for it. I just need to find the time to build it. So yeah, hopefully this month. Another TKL I am pretty excited to build. 
because I really like the aesthetics of the number one. Uh, Top Notch Ramen, hello, hello. It's been a while since I've seen you, Top Notch. I'm gonna get some sleep, have fun building another pretty rectangle, Holy Pandas Ark. Holy Pandas, how are you gonna sleep? If you're not gonna watch me, at least watch the Rams game. Come on. Come on, bruh. I'll watch it while laying in bed. <laughs> Nick Keller. Yo, the Rams are GOAT, man. I went to school with Goff. And I was a Rams fan before they were even considered good. They left St. Louis to come to a better city. Uh, Woomp. P30. Yes, I did go to Berkeley. I am a Berkeley grad. Remski, get noof, sp noof, spec coffee. <laughs> it's harder than Korean medicine. NK creams and coffee. <laughs> go Bears, bruh. Yeah, go Bears. Are you guys also Berkeley grads? Regrets and whoop? Or are you guys Rams fans? You went to Berkeley, a Niners fan, okay. Nick, you should move to LA, the true home of the Rams. Move to LA or the Bay Area, and then we can hang out with Nick. Bay Area Rent. Yeah, Bay Area Rent is pretty brutal. Not gonna lie. But the weather is great. The weather is amazing in the Bay Area. If I didn't live in the Bay Area, I would not be known as Mr. Sleeves. The Bay Area is what allows me to wear my hoodies. Cowboys legit got the worst fans. <laughs> my best friend's dad is a Cowboys fan, I believe. Oh, Patriots, we win a lot. Ooh, someone should... 
So if you guys don't know, holy pandas aren't great. It gets very heated if you talk about how Aaron Rodgers is better than Tom Brady. I would like to see a fight occur. Someone pick a fight with holy pandas aren't great right now. Any Tom Brady haters out there, pick a fight. <laughs> Don't do this to you. <laughs> I, I still love you, holy pandas aren't great. Can't fight with a minor, I would go to jail. <laughs> How do you know Holy Pandas aren't great as a minor? Tom Brady deflates balls. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I never said Tom Brady was trash. This is this is not my doing. Whatever chat thinks of Tom Brady does not voice my opinions, reflect my opinions. You can call me by your real name. Are you sure? I didn't want to dox you. Do you really want me to call you by your real name? It would be easier to say, but you know, I don't want to dox. Oh, you prefer it? Okay. I will I will refer to you as Kelly now then. Juan Romilly, Peyton Manning as Coat Brady as shite. <laughs> Peyton Manning is pretty goat too. I agree with that. Juan Romilly. Okay, last step. Hopefully I won't have to redo any of these. Last step. Honestly, the worst part of doing builds is lubing and the feeling you get when you have to redo a stab. Those are the two worst steps of a build IMO. That's why you hire me as a lube slave. Yes, that is true. Remsky is my preferred, or one of my preferred lubers. So if any of you guys want a good lube job and don't want to do it yourself, hit up Remsky, guys. I approve of Remsky's lubing. Remsky retired. Are you still retired, Remsky? Have you finished Amnesia's order? Have you even started on Amnesia's order? My man, Mark. Oh, Remsky, are you back open for business?
10k loved my lubed mocks ems uh hypers x thank you so much for the follow Respawns Remski as a professional bag luber. That is, there is a high chance that could be true. Considering the rate at which Remski pumps out lube switches, he might just be a bag luber. haven't even oh you have somebody's gone silent yeah I haven't seen him talk as much either I know his hours are a little bit funky so like they don't really overlap but yeah I haven't seen him on KB customs or Benny chat or even um Quantrix server I haven't seen amnesia as well missed that guy Hitorius Band-Aid mod? No Band-Aid mod. But I am installing washers currently. Should be more organized with my stamps. Uh, Fly Bunny sixty three. Thank you so much for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Which parts of Mechies are worth talking in? <laughs> um, Zondat's answer is not entirely incorrect. But I, just, I only hang out in KB Customs, KB Vintage, KB Artisans, and Salt Mines. But two of those can be ignored if you are not into Artisans. One in a milli took me six minutes to lube one switch. One in a milli, I think I actually lube around the same speed as you do. Like within an hour, I, I generally think I lube around like it's anywhere between 10 to 15 depending on how just depends on the day I accidentally pulled out some uh, clip and stab housings <laughs> which is why I said oh wait because they were mix masked with screw in and clip in housings Is why you should organize your uh, steps instead of just having a giant box like me. To need new housings for these. Our 
actually I'll just redo the entire stand. Better to keep this bundled. Bremski's secret sauce. I know what that's all. Bremski's secret sauce is pretty nice. I recommend Bremski's secret sauce as well as his um his uh his secret forbidden foot breaking technique. Uh, Yuxi, I don't know if you're still watching the stream, but I was talking earlier about how I really like how you added the uh, the posts for aligning the top and bottom piece together. That was a nice touch that I was not expecting with the Jane. Hopefully all your future boards use that because it is a genius idea. finished my lubed Helios build the other day. You are loving them. Nice. I really like the Helios too and I'm glad you did too. What did you uh, lube them with? GHV4, wow, okay. I still have yet to try GHV4. Mr. Zeal, can you send me some GHV4, please? Oh, okay, this music's funky. Only French grills allowed here, no French boys. Uh, top notch ramen, how thick are the sheets of sorbethane you use in my build? So I've only used sorbethane a couple number of times because it is fairly pricey, but they are 0.1 inches thick. And the one I use a 50A Duro, 50 Duro, but that is not a conscious decision. It just happened to be that when I purchased Sorbethane, that was the first listing that popped up. I haven't experimented with uh, lower or 
higher number of duros. Does seven you only fit in one location? No, it fits in two locations. Just to make sure, yes, that is where it should go. Oops, yikes indeed. What do you mean? Hello, Quantric. Nastrov, G, yes, it is. Can't wait to split backspace. Split backspace is actually a big brain layout. Oh, okay, sorry, not split backspace. Oh, wait, I think it's a split space, split backspace. No, split backspace is small brain layout. Split space is big brain layout. Yeah, this music is starting to annoy me a little bit. <laughs> uh... Quantric WTF, who is paying this guy? I actually prefer full backspace. To split backspace. So then that you just noticed the Swiss bottom row. It is pretty Swiss. It is pretty Swiss. Hopefully I did not mess up. Today's switches we are building with Telios. These are the V2s. They were lubed by Mr. Remsky himself with 205. If it'll focus, 205 great zero. Okay, so let's see how good. Uh, Samoyan, hello. Thank you so much for the follow. Let's see how good his um, switches f feel. I'll turn off music, sorry. Telios? Sounds a bit sounds a bit high pitched, but they feel good. So let us continue. Matt Allen, thank you so much for the follow. Slight pink, t straight to the typing test. Yuxi 910, done with your ride. What does that mean, Yuxi? Are you a Uber driver? On the side, has life been hard for you? Or are you taking a ride to somewhere? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you're cycling. Oh, right. You do cycle, I think. If I were a cyclist, I would like to have a TGR branded bike. I've seen the pics. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. This space bar stab thing is very interesting. <laughs> It just clips into the two corners, but not the bottom two corners. <laughs> Freaking con trick. I'm just gonna put in some additional switches so the plate is a bit more secure. plate is also pretty thin and a little bit flimsy because of all the uh, relief cuts so there isn't much there's a lot less material than there typically is on a plate Is there around 1.5 thin? I'm not sure this, I think it is 1.5. It might honestly be thinner. That looks kind of thin. Maybe 1.2, 1.5, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's just the uh, flimsiness of all the relief cut flex getting to my brain. Oh gosh. Or if the plate is actually thinner. Brain too small. Why are you calling me small brain, Remsky? Does plate move up and down around the switches? What does that mean, on that? Music makes you feel like it. Yeah, I'm sorry today's music selection is not that great. So we'll need those for later. good the stabs are
think we are good to lube. I mean, not lube. <laughs> to uh, continue with the rest of the build. So now we're going to solder this bad boy. Or bad girl, I guess, since her name is Jane. Quick, put ASMR in the tag. Um, Zonda, what am I? What do I need to confirm? What did ADX LK say? Okay, so so far with this plate, I don't. It's not. It's tight, but it's not single level tight or TGR nine ten level tight. But it's a good tight. It's not the type. It's not the tight that'll hurt your fingers. Oh, I like that. Min two four six three. Thank you so much for the sub. Well, not the sub. The follow. Sorry. But one one thing. One thing you have to be careful careful with with uh, thin and flexible plates like this is that they because there's not enough material it sometimes droops because you don't clip it in all the way so it's just something you have to be mindful of when you're building the board. <clears throat> Like because there's a lot less aluminum than you normally would expect, the uh, plate can droop as you put the switches in. Is it the tightness you like? What is that username? ADXLKO. Yes. This is the kind of tightness that is perfect. And hopefully I won't have to worry about straightening my stabs, my modifier keys too much. That is also, straightening mod keys, lubing your switches, and having to redo stabs are the worst parts, top three worst parts of a build. Assuming everything is functioning correctly, like the PCB and whatnot. Yeah, but this, this is a good tightness. My fingers aren't dying. You do need to put in some pressure, but it's good. Uh, it's Suna, thank you so much for the follow. Oh dear, plate droop. Yeah, so I mean, with plate droop, you can also fix it, assuming you you uh, you seated your switches fully in and downwards. You can screw it onto the top case, and then just kind of push down really hard wherever it droops. But yeah, like it, it is still aluminum, so. So like right now, you can see there is already some plate droop with that second row. Like the switches are little focus. Like switches are fully seated, but the plate kind of droops because there's a bit of flex.
If you also want, sometimes I take a screwdriver and then like, I push it under the plate and push the plate up. Not, not recommended all the time if you want to preserve the uh, look of your plate, but if it's a personal build, I would be doing that right now. I honestly, I honestly don't care how the internals of my board looks. KDM, uh, do I have a referral code f code for novel keys? Not yet, not yet. I do have one for Zeal PC. Um, but I guess this is a good time to talk about my sponsors of the channel. Um, so yeah, one of my sponsors is Novel Keys. I actually built a board for Mike yesterday. The uh, the yellow M65 Ace. The VOD is up for it on my YouTube channel. So go check it out if you missed it. But Mike currently has the glow in the dark switches planned. I don't think it's live yet, right? But he does have the glow in the dark desk, not, not glow in the dark, sorry, the uh, RGB desk mats live as well. So go check those out. Um, and the next sponsor we have is Zeal PC, who is the creator of these Telio switches that we are using today. Um, the Xeno Group Buy is currently going on. It is a board that a lot of people have been waiting for and asking for. It is a 75% keyboard with a staggered F-Row that will have the highly praised qualities of the Zephyr infused with it, uh, designed by Poner. So you should also check that out as well. I It is a board that I personally bought, so that means anything you guys should go check it out uh, I do have an affiliate link for zeal it is zealpc.com sorry be zealpc.net slash Teha types if you want to support me do that as well I did not rehearse my sponsor speech I'm just rambling on because uh, this part is a little quiet and boring. <laughs> what was wrong with Zephyr Anno? I didn't say anything was wrong with Zephyr Anno. Oh, someone is saying Zephyr Anno. Fuck bot? Fuck boy? I haven't heard of any issues with the Zephyr Anno, so I'm not sure what that's about. The Zephyr also has one of the best packaging and keyboard unboxing experiences, if not the best. Ooh, actually, Rama has to, Rama also provides a nice keyboard unboxing experience. Although I, I do think the Zephyr unboxing experience is a bit nicer. And no one, not many people focus on the unboxing experience of the keyboard. I mean, it, obviously it doesn't matter and it adds to, I mean, sorry, it, I think it does matter, but with the current state of our hobby, that just, that just would add a bit to the cost of the group buy or keyboard. So I understand, but I, I do think the unboxing of a product, the unboxing experience of a product is important. And it would be nice to see more designers um, providing and exploring that field. But yeah, I mean, every everything in our community right now is currently uh, driven by individuals so if you were to add nice if you were to offer nice 
uh, expensive packaging, it would I'm guessing it would significantly add to the costs as well as logistics. So I can understand why we don't really focus on that. But like Ryan Norbauer also focuses on the uh, unboxing or packaging aspect of it as well. So I, I really appreciate those nice little touches. Henry is a good boy for sure. <laughs> oh, Oblaski kin bags are perfect. Perfect packaging and still usable. Yeah, kin bags are nice too. Kin bag group by is shipping. I have no idea. One in a million. <laughs> but I too would like my uh, kin bags. Because I bought a lot. I think I got like five bags. <laughs> okay, all the. Yeah, so after putting all the switches on, there's just this... There's just a very slight plate droop after putting it all on. Um, but I, I think once we screw it onto the top, plate, top piece, it should be fine. But it, it is a lot better than when I had the first two rows on. Which is good to see, good to see. Am I zoomed out? Yes, I am. Okay, now to get to the soldering. <laughs> Quantra, yo, it's hard on me. Hard enough for me to ship shit you want me to put it in a nice box too. <laughs> you know, I, I think I think the unbox the whole customer experience and unboxing aspect of keyboards or any product is actually pretty important for a small hobby like ours because like for people like us who know what to expect from a group buy that's fine but like for anyone who is just starting off or looking to purchase their first you know high-end custom that costs that's not cheap that costs let's, let's say $500 or $400 including shipping when you're paying that much money for a product you expect nice packaging to come with it and I, I genuinely think it can be off-putting for someone just starting off um, who don't know what it's like right now or what the norm is and it, it can psychologically affect how you perceive the product quality to be, I think, if the, if the unboxing isn't nice. Like, unless it's a company that has 
a like proven record to be a premium product. Like I wouldn't call Apple's packaging to be all that great. Like it's clean, it's nice, but like Apple has a history and they've established them. They're a well-known company that people expect premiumness from. But like for something like this where it's super niche and you're paying $500 for a keyboard, people might perceive that as not so great when they receive it in just a normal uh, cardboard box with foam. Response TBH, I'd be happy if all boards just ship with kin bags. But yeah, but that's because, like, I think us people who have been in the hobby, we're perfectly fine with kin bags. But for someone starting off, they might be like, eh, what is this? It feels kind of cheap. <laughs> Cutest allowed, preferred TX bags the most, 159. Uh, holy pens are in great. Good night, man. There's a difference between nice and functional. I do agree. Is that just a fan or an actual fume extractor? Uh, it is an actual fume extractor. Let me show you if it picks, it picks up the fume. So this is the innovation that's missing and making. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Uh, Remski, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. So, oh wow, you're a five month subscriber. I'm impressed, Rem. I didn't know you were a. I think five months is the most anyone could have resubbed for right now. Thanks, Rem. I, I know I pulled it out. I'm gonna do the. I do the mods last, so I'm not too worried. Yes, I did see I pulled it out, Rem. Relax, Rem. <laughs> Have I replaced the filter on the fume extractor yet? Uh, no, this is a rather new extractor, so I haven't felt the need to replace the filter yet. When the time comes, I will have to look it up on how to do so and where to buy a replacement filter. Yeah, but it's rather new, so... To answer your question, I have not yet replaced the fume extractor, the filter on it at least.
currently soldering on the anchor points first. <sighs> Fendi FVP, what kind of solder do I use? I use 6347. Is this 64? No, I believe this is 63. I'm pretty sure it's 6347. I think. Won't hand gloves on stream when? I don't I don't know. I don't like gloves because I don't know, it just feels the the touch feels different from me for me. And I feel like I have less control when I wear a glove. It just feels odd. I don't like using a glove. What temperature do I solder at? Snoop Doge. Um, I solder at 675 degrees Fahrenheit. I forgot what it was in Celsius. I believe that's around 350, 375. I forget. Nathan, is there anything you do differently you need to watch out for when lubing silent switches? Snail Trail says. Uh, no. Nothing you need to do differently. I do the exact same thing I do when lubing a silent switch versus a non-silent, a uh, linear switch at least. For a tactile switch, uh, people generally recommend avoiding lubing the legs because that reduces tactility. So I do that as well, but if you, if you find a switch too tactile, lubing the legs is a one way to help reduce some of that. Do people lube the legs of the holy pandas? No, do not do that. Um, holy pandas are actually affected severely if you lube the legs of a holy panda. 
it will feel significantly less tactile. Uh, if that's what you're looking for, then sure, do that. But I would not. Uh, this foam is actually pretty hard, <laughs> and I I like I press down really hard on that. Like I don't know if it shows, but sometimes my hands are like shaking because I'm like pressing down so hard. I'm a strong boy. Uh, Frostfire, yes, just lube the sliders and the stem. Around the spring, sorry. Just lube everywhere but the legs for any tactile switch. But like I mentioned in my um, Zelios V2 review, I lubed the legs consciously because I felt that it was too tactile for me and I wanted to reduce the tactility. So in that case, you can lube the legs of a tactile switch. Also, for these for this pink case, what what keycap set would you guys put on a case with this color? I've been thinking about that all week. It's kind of hard. <laughs> the pink is nice, but like what keycap set goes well with it? That is a question I could not answer. Nine zero zero nine without accents. So you mean just a beige set? So that that is probably the highest contender. Just a. I was thinking, 
of putting my OG dice subs on here. Um, Olivia, I don't know if Olivia would look good. Like, I don't think the pink is the same pink as Olivia. Maybe, maybe Olivia. I'm also not sure if this shade of pink is the exact shade of pink as the Alice. I, oh, actually, I do have a pink Alice in my room. Hmm. I guess I could compare that, but yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen too many pictures. I don't remember what people put on a pink Alice. Christine, I don't have JTK Hana. The only JTK set I have is Yolch. Uh, I just realized you have an army baby. F oh, sweet. Yes, I do. Do you have one yourself, Suede? Why do you? All oh, right, you used to. You used to be a DJ. I actually, accidentally, actually recently got it, Uncle Suede. Uh, PBT, please. Respawn says yeah. So I was thinking. Maybe Sav? I can put Sav or an SDU set on here. I could also put a Desco set on. Putting, putting caps, I do not have putting caps. My newly acquired BSP Peacock is also a, an option. But I'm thinking Sav. Maybe Sav might look good. With the uh, red sub legends against the uh, pink case. What do you guys think? Sav? BSP Peacock? Or just a normal SDU Dice set? Milkshake would probably look good on it too. I don't have milk, or no, I do have milkshake, but not with me right now. gotta do the mods and I hope I don't have to straighten any of them too much Talisman Solutions, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, uh, so I am not going to put Hyperfuse on this at the end. I am just using it to test for straightness. 
so please don't be triggered. Although Hyperfuse would not look bad against the pink. TBH IMO. Where's my tab key? Du Bois, thank you so much for the subscription. Where's my tab? I'll just use an incorrect key for now. All that matters is the straightness, so. Let's not waste any more time. How straight does this look? Ooh, not bad, not bad. I think I don't have to straighten much. Let's see. This the left side mods look pretty straight off the bat. Yeah, pretty straight to me. No straightening required on the left side. Oh damn. I think I think even the right side I can just solder without having to worry about straightening. Plates like these are one of the best feelings can have when building a keyboard. Oh, I overdid that one. GG. Wasn't RGB kit offered for the uh, V2? This kit. 
kidding. Left shift, maybe, or right shift. Patrick, GG. This song is ass. Is it recommended to use new switches for a while before looting them? Depends if you want a break. So some people talk of a break in for switches, uh, which I think is a real thing. But whether you lube your switches without using them or not, they will still be broken in with use. It's just with if you lube them before breaking it in, it might take a little longer. Hmm. Uh, Talisman Solutions, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Okay, so left shift is not straight at all. <laughs> or sorry, right shift. that so not straight I didn't miss any switches. Let us give these a go. Hmm. You see, are you there? Is there a reason why this is? Is this just not programmed in? <laughs> what left? Okay, left is not soldered on. That is my bad. Hey, flipped spacebar is best spacebar, Remski. Don't hate. Uh, these Tilios feel very nice though. Okay, so just the left key because it is not soldered on. But I'm guessing the right control was not programmed in or it is a FN key with nothing on the FN layer. Mr. Yuxi, are you still there? If not, I can just check loot mapper. There we go, okay, it's all working. Um, let us check loot mapper client. Boot. I 
share dust. Oh, Matrix. Whoa. Okay, so this. Ah, see, it's not programmed in. So right alt is programmed in. This is not programmed in. So it is, it is being detected. There's just, <laughs> there's nothing, I guess. Um, yeah, so everything works. Are you guys ready? The, I'm sure you guys are all waiting for what this sounds like. Okay, so chat, you guys haven't told me what um what keycap set to use yet. White on black? Then I have to take it off from there. Ew, why do you guys like white on black? with pink. That's too black. TBH IMO. Do it? You guys don't want PBT? I was thinking SAV or uh, SDU. Cutest lol says die subs. Taobao please. Black pink in your area. GMK Iris. What the? That is an option I have never heard. I don't have GMK Iris. Unfortunately. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So if you look at the, uh, so when you screw it in, it not only holds the, uh, the two plate fins, but the screw also rests. There's a little ledge for the uh, screw to sit on. That's pretty neat. A little, little touch of detail that I don't think I've seen in other boards. SDU, SDU. You guys don't want the uh, the red sub legends of Sav against the pink. That's white on black on TGR pink. Let me see this picture. Okay, let me share my... Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like it, I don't think it looks good. Sav big meme. don't like the look of white on black against pink. for assembly for those of you guys who missed the uh, unboxing of the case look at this so I talked so I talked about this earlier the Jane V2 comes with female female tic tac ports on the bottom and then the top case has male tic tacs so that when you make them copulate, boom, perfectly fitting seam all around. No need to worry about having to align them with screws anymore. Let's hear some SA space bars. Yikes. Um, I don't have 
What did someone say? I don't have Taro actually. I don't have Taro unfortunately. I'm not a big purple fan. So yeah, sorry. I did not join in for Taro. I also don't like Taro that much as a flavor. Like Taro Boba? Eh, I'm whatever about it. Uh, Felipe Kiros. Kiros? Thank you so much for the subscription. Hunter Millie, yeah, Mike. I am not gonna lie and say that my color grading is accurate. Um, I also have a really harsh lighting coming down from this angle. So don't go off the color grading of my uh, stream. My, uh, my camera also does not do well with certain colors. Like anytime teal comes out, it looks disgusting. Like I don't know if you guys recognized it with, even with the uh, Telios and Hyperfuse, it just does not look good with uh, the Sony color science, in my opinion. Like that does not, that is not very accurate, in my opinion. I think. Okay, for the weight, this is the Toblerone weight, guys. For those who missed it earlier this stream, the outside, this is the visible edge. Mirror, yeah, you guys can see that giant light I have there. Look at that. It's a massive light. I mean, it is diffused with two layers of the uh, diffusing panels, but it's still a pretty bright light source. You can see my face. This fits into here, like so. And it hides the uh, four screws along the top. And then you screw the Toblerone weight to the bottom case with these four screws. More insertion. That's a good penetration indeed. I'm actually surprised that the weight is this short for that the screw is this short for the weight it's a pretty hefty weight can't wait for you to do that to my Jane I will do whatever you want me to to your Jane so that is what the board looks like with the Toblerone weight installed The uh, weight sticks out a little bit more than the case now that I have it screwed in actually. Come on. And the special part, this Jane is a prototype Jane that has the original grill bottom. This is not what you will get with the production weight as the community voted against this in favor of the uh, weight within a weight design. Wink. Is there a direction? Oh, there is. It only fits one way. I like. I thought it'd be centered, but it's not. <laughs> it is not centered. But yeah, uh, what was it? So I heard a Jane spot flipped for 1.4, 1.5K. I'm calling it here. Whoever this Jane goes to, 
this Jane here is worth 2.5. This is a 2.5k Jane right here because it is a rare prototype. I am not sure how many of these exist. You should not sell it for anything less than 2.5k. It is a rare one of one. I'm guessing it's one of one. Uh, Jane. Not many can flex with their OG bottom piece. This is also the first Jane whose Tic Tac copulation I oversaw. That is a rare title. One can claim. Oh, this. So without the weight, it's pretty light. This is insanely heavy <laughs> with the weights now. Yuxi told me it's the only one Nick says. There you go. If Okay, if this is the only one, I would raise it to 3k. This is a keeper. Got SDU keycaps. Let me uh, take off Hyperfuse. Uh, this is Redux. Hyperfuse and bags feel good. Um, so I got this in the aftermarket and it didn't come with a tray. This is one of the few sets I have that is without a tray. If I, I, I am a tray liker. I know some people don't like trays, <coughs> Huey, but I personally like trays. I like, it's so satisfying to see a stack of trays. Dale Snail is in the chat. Hello, Dale Snail. <laughs> Just buy a tray from Oko. So, I mean, I like trays, but I'm not that desperate enough to buy additional trays. <laughs> I mean, it's not the end of the world if I don't have a tray. Um, so that's why Hyperfuse has become my, um, oh, not this Christmas music. That is why uh, Hyperfuse is my beater set. Because I can just easily grab it from the bag. I am using SDU die subs. Oof, look at that. Thick, thick PBT. Uh, Jinful, thank you so much for the follow.
Ooh. Rem put on a pretty thick coating on here, which I am all about. This is this is butter level lube, which some people might find too thick, but I I am all about that butter. 205 on switches is the way to go. A S D F G H. DJ Suede Remsky likes some thick. Yes, he does. Actually, no, I wouldn't say Remsky likes a that thick. A S D. The, the, his boards I felt at NorCal, they were like a good coating. Um, but, but for me personally, I, I like it a little bit thicker than the way he prefers it. But I guess for some people, that might be considered thick. Oh, you weren't talking about switches, TJ Suede says. <laughs> um, B3NK, Ben K. What lube would I recommend for Holy Jesus? Um, either, I would say 205 may be a bit too thick. Go 3204 or thinner. You can go 3203, you can use a lube, or you can use an oil, sorry. I would say 205 might be a bit too thick for Holy Pandas. I, I normally would recommend 205, but for Holy Jesus, I would say you're probably better off using something thinner. Rip that diffuser. What diffuser are you talking about? Come on. Oh, wait, okay, I see what Dale said. <laughs> Dale, I was looking forward to building a board for you. Ooh. I haven't, I'm, I mean, I have my headphones on, so it, the sound is a bit muffled, but I can tell it sounds nice. Uh, Cruiser the Bruiser. Oof, how come so many boards have a gap where the win key option goes? Do people not really use it at all? Um, so I guess that is a two part question. So the reason why a lot of boards don't have the win key, it's, this is called a win key blocker because it blocks the win key so you don't have a key there. Um, one, it's an homage to old vintage boards. Um, older vintage board, I mean, the Windows key didn't exist back in the days, so that's why they had this gap. Um, so the old boards looked like, had layouts that looked like this. So that's one of the reasons why uh, keyboard enthusiasts like it because it's, a, it's an homage to old boards. Um, so just because the Windows key does not exist here doesn't mean people don't use it. Some people might not use the Windows key, but one of the things that people like to do is caps lock is generally not used by a lot of people. So a lot of people will program this to be either control or the Windows key. Um, the nice thing about custom builds like this, you can program the layout to be whatever you want. So there are a lot of keys that people don't use and that is where you put keys where you normally do use or move other less used keys to those positions oh no the music stopped so yeah for me personally when I do a build like this I have my caps lock mapped to be control I, I personally never use caps lock so my caps lock functions as control and then my control functions as the Windows key and Alt is just Alt. So that way I still have the three bottom row keys here. I personally never use, I use right Alt, 
to switch between languages on Windows, but right Windows key, right control, I rarely use. So, so you could also program it there. Uh, I didn't see. I didn't. I see. Didn't realize people remap control to super very often. Caps lock should pretty much always be mapped to something else. Yeah, I agree. Um, there, there, there are a lot of keys people don't need that people want and think they need, but they don't need. Like you can consider the numpad. A lot of uh, a lot of laptop keyboards don't come with numpads, and people use laptops fine. But when they are looking for a keyboard for their home, for some reason, when you ask someone, do you need the numpad? They go, yes, I need it. But in reality, how often do you use the numpad to warrant that much space? Um, for some people, they never even touch the uh, nav cluster here, so that's another piece of the layout you can take out if you want uh, yeah some people honestly don't even need dedicated arrow keys a lot of enthusiasts will have a function key somewhere and then program an arrow key here so that let's say this is the function key while you're holding it just becomes your arrow key for that uh, split second yeah a lot of cool things you can do with customization that people still aren't aware of Unfortunately, so there are there are ways to make your typing experiences nicer. Uh, Lark Carps is back. Hello, I am almost done with the build and about to go into the typing test. I always forget what these keys are. Is this is this scroll lock pause system? Or is it print screen? How does this go? I should just plug it in. What am I doing? This is print screen. This is scroll lock. This is pause. Okay, there we go. Let me clean this up. talking about key sets who is that username ADX LK this is an SDU keycap set it is an OG dice up set boom we have our finished and completed uh, so the harsh lighting gets in the way <laughs> there we go we have a pink TGR with the SDU set uh, Nick Keller you want me to compare it to the Alice pink yes I can so for a build like this, I would highly recommend PBT keycaps. This is an end game level key keyboard that deserves a nice PBT set. This is the side profile. This is the back. Look at that port fitment. Um, I have seen that is like, what more can you ask? <laughs> Uh, sorry, there is one thing I would ask. I I wish Yuxi would move to USB-C, but can't complain about this. As long as it's not micro, I am happy. Um, this is the mirror finished stainless steel. If it'll focus, it will definitely be a fingerprint magnet for anyone using this shen shen hello this is the bottom grill 
Oof. Okay, I haven't done a typing test yet, but hear this. Oh, the music's on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll just go. I'll just go to the typing test then. Oh shoot! I just took a screenshot. Ooh, I am excited to type on this. Okay, sorry for all the bass you're about to hear. This is inevitable as I have to. Okay. So the mic is one Huey away from the keyboard. For any audio files out there, I am using the Newman TLM-103 microphone um, that is hooked up to an RME Babyface Pro right here. If that means anything for you, Twitch probably compresses my audio to oblivion but it should be decently accurate um, as compared to my streams from last year so yeah um, this is the jane tgr jane v2 prototype in the sense that it has a different bottom this is a one of one keyboard it has the new telios v2s lubed with 205 grade zero by mr remsky um, and it has the SDU. I forgot the I forgot the code for the SDU, but it's it's known as the SDU. I think it's the three thousand SDU uh, keycaps. Yeah, hold on. Let me change my focusing. <sighs> oh no! I shook my screen. <laughs> Okay, place your bets, everyone. This is the first typing test ever of a TGR Jane V2. Thank you so much to Mr. Yuxi for sending this. And here we go. One, two, three. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> Crap. How do I look? Ooh, 120. Ooh, I see one 120. Who was that? Uh, Elf, 120, you got it. Respawn sounds effing craygasm. OMG, these switches are brought to you by Remsky Chinese Slave Luving Services. Telios still sound like Helios. That's like his best test. Um, yeah, let me let me go through some of the uh, stabs. Do you guys like the sound of the mods? Sorry.
Mm, okay, so this key, it is row 5, so I think it's binding, <laughs> which I think is an issue for row 5, for some row 5 keys. How does that sound guys? You guys like the sound? Um in person I honestly can't tell that they're Telios. These these like if someone told me these were retooled blacks, I would believe them. In person. Like this spacebar? This is this is not what a Telio spacebar sounds like. Um it also feels like, so I recently just built this half plate. It almost has a half plate or half plate or like plateless feeling because the plate is so thin and with all the relief cuts, it's a really nice typing experience. Like it definitely still feels like top mount, but I, I want to say it almost feels like there's a half plate or plateless feeling mixed into it almost. Let us redo the typing test because this board deserves another typing test. I cannot see chat. Visionary, what is the weight on these? These are just stock Telio weights, I believe. I could be wrong, I forget. Okay, let us do another typing test. Oh no, caps lock was on. Redo. Who? Oh shoot! Someone actually guessed 129. I O I O L X D 129. Dang. Maybe maybe this Jane V2 is a really good board. I haven't been typing this fast in a while. Damn. How do you guys like the sound? I think I hear a little bit of spring noise. It's probably because Remsky's ass. Or maybe the switches just need a little bit of use before the lube is evenly spread, but this feels, it sounds and feels good. <laughs> I am thoroughly impressed with the Jane typing experience.
it's Kuroi. You want to play some typing races? Okay, I got you, man. I got you. Let's do some typing races. Uh, my newly built Jane V2 against... Oh, wait, let me sign in. Against you, Scrubs. Who will win? Wait, what? Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, we are doing a typing test. No. 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 I have a <laughs> I can't even see my score cuz <laughs> Oh what what rank was I Second place Oh it's Kuroi beat me dang it I hate it's Kuroi it's Kuroi's the worst. Who is this guy? I hate this guy. It's Kuroi. Okay, one more race. And then we will compare it to the uh, pink Alice. If you guys want me to. No. Third place, GG. It's Kuroi got 134. I hate this kid. <laughs> Anyways, there we go, guys. This is the TGR JMV2. Are you guys hyped? Do you guys like this? Are you guys glad you joined the TGR Jane V2? <laughs> oh wait, Cruiser the Bruiser was in that? It is very nice. I am very hyped to get mine, especially in the uh, blue-gray color, because that is what I am in for. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Winston Miller, if you guys had your switches lube by Remsky, you would have been faster. <laughs> uh, Max F Life, thoughts on the NCR die sub versus the BSP die sub? I don't have a BSP set on hand. I would say BSP is like a 9 or 8 out of 10 in terms of die sub quality, in terms of just cap quality, and then die subs are 10 out of 10. Okay, do you guys want me to compare this to the Pink Alice? Yes or no? Or should I call this stream over? Did you guys, I hope you guys liked today's stream. It was worth the wait, hopefully. Uh, I am very excited to see what the blue gray turns out to be like. Yes, two in the pink, okay.
Okay, so just to keep in mind, um, Yuxi did say this build, this keyboard was from the Singa factory, which I believe the Alice is from a different factory. Dun da da da. So we have the pink TGR Alice here. Can you guys tell the difference? So the Alice Pink, uh, I would say, yeah, so the Alice Pink is slightly darker and a bit more muted. This is the TGR or this, the Jane Pink, at least off this proto, is a little bit more of a hot pink and brighter. Um, yeah, compared to, so this is like a, okay, let me see if I could reduce the, uh, so it's not as harsh anymore. It's gonna be a little bit dark, but not as harsh. Lighting is so bad. <laughs> I don't know how to properly display this, but yeah, I guess right here is a good angle. I don't know if it, if you guys can tell the difference. The Alice Pink. Yeah, Alice Pink is kind of like a. And yeah, not that the Alice Pink is bad. Hit them together to. See harder to see which finish holds up better please but um yeah the the jane pink is a lot brighter like it is a noticeably brighter pink whereas the alice pink looks a bit more muted megaforce why are you so cute hello megaforce Fun fact, the uh, the footprint of the Alice and the Jane is not too far off. The Jane is slightly longer than the Alice by like a quarter of an inch maybe. 100 milli, Alice pink is classier, Jane is more playful. Yeah, I would agree. I would say this is more of a... Like as a as a male person, I would prefer this pink over this pink. This would be a more unisex kind of pink. But this is a beautiful build. So there you go. Um, but once again, I'm. I don't think the production Janes are being made with the Singa factory. This is from the Singa factory. So the production pink might be different. So once again, do keep in mind this is from a different factory. Unless the Janes are being made at the Singa factory. That I do not know. Megaforce, why are you so cute? Kiss me. Um, so pink unicorns are going to be awesome. I hope so. I mean, I'm not sure if Elaine is going to use this color as well. Um, what I do know is that their that whatever factory they use is really good with colors. So I am not sure if this is the pink Elaine chose for their uh, unicorn. Juan Amelie says, hope unicorn is closer to the Alice. But yeah, there you go. Future build stream, we have another Alice coming. Uh, someone asked a question, what is that username? Oh shoot. 
Yes, but why? Do you think there is more demand for builders, lubers? Or is the market saturated already? Um, is there a demand for lubers? Yes, there is definitely a demand for lubers because lubing is very hard. Not okay, it's not very hard. It is very time consuming and requires a lot more manual labor than you think. So not many people want to do it. And the current prices at which the community are willing to spend on a lube job is not that high in my opinion. I used to offer lubing services too, but it, it just wasn't worth the effort and time for the amount of, um, for what I was charging. So I stopped that entirely uh, because I also have to make videos and stream as well. So yes, there's definitely a demand for lubers. Uh, demand for builders, yes and no. Um, there aren't. I, I would I wouldn't say it's saturated um, but like just because someone isn't streaming their builds or making videos doesn't mean they're offering services as well um, there are a lot of qualified people out there who just kind of offer it under the radar they don't publicize it but if asked they might be willing to take up a build job um, but even still yeah I would say I wouldn't say the market for builders is saturated. One fifty nine, nobody wants to loop except Remsky. <laughs> he can handle it. Rem is a Persian god, he can handle it. Some people want to lube, but they're terabad. Oh, one in a milli, I have heard of your story. Through the grapevines. Uh, my condolences. <laughs> I've, I've seen some pictures and that is a, that is a pretty big yikes. <laughs> that, is, that is why you only stick to Remsky or other well-known lubers. Weston Miller, Remsky has great prices. I am always satisfied. Uh, yes, Remsky, like I mentioned earlier, he is someone I would recommend for a lube job. I have personally myself been asking Rem to lube my switches as well. Um, I'm trying to do more than just typing tests. I mean, I have been doing more than typing tests, but I want to do more than I did last year than just typing tests. Um, so that means that's going to require more time. So I just don't have the time to personally lube my switches, which I would prefer because I'm better than Rem. But um, yeah, Remsky, like Remsky is someone that a lot of people will um, recommend for a lube job. And he offers a more than fair price in my opinion. In my opinion, uh, community lubers deserve to get paid more. But mm, I think as a community, as a whole, no one wants to pay more. Which I think is kind of, I think it's, yes, it's kind of sad. This turn from a bill stream to a shill stream. Hey, Remsky, I'm shilling you, man. Don't complain. I would have paid more, got him. <laughs> he lubed like a hundred clears for me and my wife threw them away. Sad, sad day, GG. Community lubers aren't usually doing the math to realize how much they're actually charging an hour. Moist guns. Uh, moist guns. So, community lubers. I don't. I don't think anyone charges by the hour. They usually charge by the switch. Um, and as a community, as I think, from what I understand, the market price for a lube job per switch. Um, anything beyond fifty cents is considered really expensive. 
Yeah, no, I don't think anyone charges by the hour. Um, well, like 50 cents a lube or a switch. It's, I mean, it obviously depends on how fast you lube for it to be worth your time, but I don't think, I think that's pretty underpaid. There is no enforcement to keep me honest. That is also true. Um, like at least with streams, there is or uh, someone like me who streams builds. There is some kind of uh, accountability in how long I spend building a keyboard. But yeah, you can't you can't charge for a lube job by the hour because there's no way to enforce that. Um, what is a fair price for a switch lube job? I would say. I would, s assuming you are a qualified luber, there are some lubers who are not good and might not be worth your money. But I would say, assuming you are a qualified luber, I feel like they should be paid at least $75 a switch, if not more. Like you shouldn't be looking to make a living off lubing, but you should make at least minimum wage off a lube service, I think. Juan Emily, thanks for the solid stream. Good night and chat. Hey, have a great night, Juan Emily. I hope you enjoyed the uh, stream. Oh, lost seventy-five dollars, seventy-five cents. Sorry, <laughs> seventy-five dollars, seventy-five cents per switch. Like Krellbit at his peak before he retired was charging 55 cents a switch, I think. I think that was too little. Like that's why you you also see lubers burn out. It's just not worth the time and effort for the amount of money you make while lubing. Uh, I mean, unless you're someone who genuinely enjoys just lubing and spending your time doing it sure maybe it's not about the money but any luber eventually ends up burning out in the community it's just not sustainable with what people are willing to pay for what it entails <sighs> okay This is a very nice board. Ugh, this song came back again. I am yeah Jane V2 I think it is well worth the hype the building experience was solid I didn't really have to worry about straightening this the mods except for this right shift key everything else pretty much on point the plate is not as tight as the 910 plate which I like it is still tight but it's not it hurts my fingers tight, so that's good. Typing experience uh, feels very nice. The sound I also like. Nipple warmers, thank you so much for the follow. Um, but yeah, I, I am excited for my Jane V2 after feeling this. And the aesthetics, it looks amazing in my opinion. So I, I didn't go for the polished because of the fingerprint attraction. So I'm hoping that looks good as well. But in person, this is a, this is a nice board. <laughs> um, you can see also added those Tic Tacs I talked about earlier. That is a nice, <sighs> is it innovation? Have there been other boards that have done it? Those tick the aligning posts. I don't think so. Not that I can think of off the top of my head.
Oh, there are plenty of boards with alignment pins. Okay, I lied. It's not innovation. What boards have alignment pins? I haven't built any other boards that have alignment pins. Can I send you a scale for the stream? <laughs> How big of a scale are you talking about? Polycarp Singa had smaller alignments? Really? The Polycarp Singa? I built a PC Singa. I don't remember it having the alignment pins. Oh, I guess I guess I am incorrect. Sorry. Jane V2, not innovative at all. I lied. Don't please you see that. Don't take that seriously. I but yeah, I really love this board. Um I think buying another TKL might be hard for me after this, to be honest. <laughs> it is that nice. It is that nice in person. The waiting, I like it. It is a good amount of heft. This is a hefty board. I like it. Acoustics, great. Sound, great. The angle is very comfortable, too. It has the mean angle of 6.696. 6.969. Um, very comfortable angle. So, yeah, I am. I am excited for my blue gray Jane. Can't wait to receive it and stream that for you guys as well. Uh, I think you guys are in for about a month of Jane streaming. Whenever they start shipping, I have quite a handful of Janes lined up. <laughs> so yeah, that should be fun. An entire month of just Jane building. Maybe that might make the Jane market plummet. We'll see. Yeah, but yeah, I what I'm curious is how will Yuxi come up with a better TKL than this? This is really nice. This is nice. I so I have owned both the Jane CE and the Jane Round One at one point. I. I think I like this better than both. I'm not sure if it's the new plate. I mean, the new plate definitely has a new, has a lot of effect, but yeah, this is, it's nice. I am glad I sold my Jane round one and CE to get the Jane V2. <laughs> you might buy 11 but i'm done with tkl after i think yeah this is this is an end game retirement worthy tkl nathan take some nice picks so i don't have to when i flip <laughs> okay okay buddy i'll try oh you might buy i1 sorry okay uh, dab on the hateronies. Can you say J James is gay and Chiho is God? Please, Opa Nathan. Yeah, I know what you mean by I one. I just from far away it looked like eleven. Red soap two. Thanks for doing the stream. Looking forward to getting Jane V two. Yeah, I am interested to hear what you guys think of the Jane V2 when you guys receive it. Um, it is it is a nice board. I don't think anyone would call this a terrible board, unless the uh, production somehow gets screwed up. But yeah. What plate is this? This has the aluminum plate. The aluminum full plate, Kisu 8. I want more delayed than me. I won before 280. Okay, any final questions, comments, concerns? I will be streaming tomorrow as well at 4 o'clock p.m. PST. Tomorrow will be an Alps build. Not many people out there who do Alps builds, or like public streamers at least. So yeah, come join in. A lot of you guys have been asking me how I tune my Alps stabs. I will be show, demonstrating that tomorrow as well. So if you guys want to learn, come in tomorrow. 
LA Rams, yes. I should end the stream so I can go catch the end of the game. Three days in a row, bruh. Yeah, Zondad, I am trying to get partner again. I'm going to attempt to hit partner again. So for the next four weeks, I will try to stream. I actually, I need to stream at least three times a week for the next four weeks if I want to attempt being a partner. Talisman Solutions, thank you for being back, NK. Thank you for stopping by again. Talisman Solutions, Zondad, okay, good night. Love you, sweet dreams. I love you too. Okay, everyone, I hope you have a great night. I hope you guys liked the... Jane, be excited for it. It's a dank board. I th This makes me excited for 2019 to see what better boards come out that can top this because this is a very strong way to start 2019 in my opinion. The, uh, the bar has been set pretty high with this. Come on. Uh, Neo Outsider, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. Um... Hope to see you guys tomorrow. So until then, see you nerds.